one of the most reputable code-related applications called Open Interpreter had just came out recently with a new big update. Now for the people who do not know, Open Interpreter lets you run code whether that is Python, JavaScript, Shell, or any other language locally. You can chat with Open Interpreter through a ChatGPT-like interface in your terminal, which offers a lot. This is an application that provides you a natural language interface to your computer's general purpose capabilities, like creating and editing photos, videos, PDFs, and many other types of file types. You can have control in a Chrome browser, where it can perform various different types of things. You can plot, clean, and analyze large data sets, and so much more. Now, as mentioned at the start, just a few days ago, they released this new big update that scales the amount of capabilities of Open Interpreter. Just take a look at this demo video, which is showcasing how, as well as what you can tell your computer with Open Interpreter, as it can basically process your prompt to complete whatever task that you want it to complete. It's previewing this new GUI as well, which is understanding what this new OS feature is behind the new update of Open Interpreter. Now just take a look at this video, which is showcasing this. Now you can automate your computer using Open Interpreter. So Open Interpreter just came out with their new computer update. And this enables OS mode, which allows Open Interpreter to control your keyboard and mouse to execute tasks. Check this out. Play some lo-fi. Since Open Interpreter is an intelligent system, you don't need to tell it how to do certain tasks. You just give it a goal, and then it will come up with a strategy for how to best complete that goal. So you can see the first step, it used Raycast to open up Brave, then it opened up a new tab where it opened YouTube with a search for lo-fi music. Um, now, I never mentioned music, I just said play some lo-fi. It took that from the context. Um, this current function, computer mouse click, what it's doing is it's going to search the screen for instances of lo-fi. They will grab the coordinates of that, have the mouse navigate to that spot, and then execute a click command. Now, obviously there's a lot of instances of lo-fi here. So what it's doing is it's going to take all the instances, find the one that makes the most sense, and then click on it. And just like that, your computer played lo-fi for you. Now that is absolutely amazing. And this is where I introduced this new update, which is called a new computer update, which is a significant upgrade to Open Interpreter since its earliest release. Now they have actually stated that basically that this is the most significant upgrade to Open Interpreter since its earliest release. Almost every component has been rewritten to support our project's objective, which is building a standard interface between language models as well as computers. Now, this is quite big as this could practically change how we basically use something like we do with computers every single day. It can help us in coding needs and so much more. It's practically your personal assistant and this is where it it's actually coming to use cases. Now, this is something that we're gonna introduce throughout today's video as you explore some of these amazing new features with this update of the new computer with Open Interpreter. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Open Interpreter's new big update, which is called the new computer update. Now, this is something that is quite groundbreaking as the core objective of this project is to establish a standard interface between the language models as well as computers. Now, it's a way for prompting a comprehensive rewrite of almost nearly every component since its earlier release. And one of its standout features is that they've introduced a new feature called Computer API, which allows language models to access real-time code execution environments with basic controls such as mouse uh, displays, as well as your own keyboard. It's a hosted tool preview that is available right now, and it's something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. 
Now with the new computer update, there's four key upgrades to this. This is where we first mentioned the computer API, and this is where it's basically the first real-time code execution environment, which can now access your computer. This is an API that allows language models to utilize basic controls from your computer, such as your displays, your mouse, as well as your keyboard, which can basically enhance the ability to interact with your computing environment. It's a free preview of hosted tools that you can actually access right now. They have the code for it, and you can even launch different types of things with this free preview. It's potentially helping you utilize different APIs within this environment, which could be quite powerful, and it could even lead to a seamless communication between different types of language models and computers. This is a great framework that people can build upon, and I definitely would love to see more videos on Twitter as to what people will be utilizing this feature with. Now, the second core feature of this upgrade is the OS mode. This is quite a standout feature as well, but it's something that allows users to instruct Open Interpreter to control their computer with graphical commands. This is through the computer API, which is the previous feature we talked about. But in this case, this is a functionality that is compatible with any sort of multimodal language model, which can include something, something like local vision models running, like you can even have LM Studio using this, you can use Jan AI, as well as many others. It's the ability to control the computer in a graphical manner, which can represent a significant step forward where it can provide you with any sort of intuitive interface for interacting with different types of systems as well as with different types of multimodal environments. Thirdly, we have the LMC messages, which is a new messaging format that is designed to support the involvement as well as the evolving language model computer architecture. It's something that formats as well as uses the open AI messages by including additional information. And it's something that introduces a new role called the computer within its open interpreter framework. It's something that will allow for more announced communication between the assistants as well as the computer. And I definitely see this as a way that will pave a new way where an enhanced integration is utilized, where understanding is used in the interactions between language models as well as your own computer. The fourth key upgrade of this new update is the computer module. This is a major architectural change in this update, which is a separation of the computer module from Open Interpreter's core architecture. It's a separation that is able to empower any sort of user, developer of Open Interpreter to run computer modules independently. It's something that will offer more flexibility as well as more versatility as you can now control your overall framework and your environment. You're basically able to now interact with the computer module with a different type of language model or with Python, for example. It basically enables them to define functions, variables, or even log into services before the AI is ex executing the code. Now, this is a separation that will also provide users the ability to control the computer's languages, such as the ones that we always tend to work with, JavaScript, Shell, or even Python, and it can easily append custom languages according to your own specific need. Now, it's also outlined in the comprehensive guide that if you're not able to incorporate custom languages with this upgrade, so this is something that you would want to keep in mind, but it's still a great start. You can work with most of the prominent language models, or not language models, but the languages that are out there, like Python or JavaScript, which are the ones that many people tend to use nowadays. This video demonstration of this new feature of OS control to interact with an image of a servo as well as Arduino is truly impressive. Open Interpreter not only understood the image above, but it also took initiative to open the Arduino IDE to create a simple program and make the servo move. It's a remarkable demonstration of the tool's capability and it can signify that it's definitely an amazing advancement in technology. This is something that showcases Open Interpreter as a valuable resource for learning new programs through different types of Internet of Things as well as through different types of devices and environments. This is truly remarkable as this is a smooth integration of natural language interactions with practical hardware control that can definitely revolutionize how we use AI in our day-to-day -day lives. This is something that I truly recommend that you play around with. Try to build something, tag me in it, and I can definitely put another spotlight video on it. So 
that's just something that i wanted to showcase as to what you can do with this new upgrade now if you want to install this i already have a video on open interpreter which i'll leave a link to in the description below it showcases how you can install it and how you can get started with open interpreter but that's basically it for today's video on this new upgrade which is called the new computer update this is something that is truly remarkable so a huge props to killian which is the main developer of this amazing tool so with that thought guys i'll leave all these links that i used in today's video in the description below and with that thought guys make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord this is where you can get access to amazing features which can definitely elevate your ai game make sure you follow us on twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there is definitely a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys have have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.